Hey everybody, this is Candace Green. I'm so happy to be with you this morning uh, for our first day of Inhale Peace Journey Through the Devotional. Now, I've had some technical difficulties, but that's okay. I'm not going to let that stop me because the enemy wants me to, to say, you know what, this is not successful, so don't even do it. No, God has a plan and I'm going to follow through with it and do whatever I can to make sure that we connect. So I'm trying a different route um, this morning. I have to be flexible when you are walking in the spirit so um, this morning I had a whole different plan I was gonna be at home I was gonna be talking to you at home but God said no take this outside so that's what I did I am at Lake Montebello uh, a beautiful lake in Baltimore City let me see if I can swivel this around a little bit there's the lake and I'm in this really beautiful um, wooded area with um, some trees and um, it's just a really nice space to sit, breathe and um, really commune with God. It's a great, great area. Very nice and green. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera adjusted. Um, so this morning we are going to walk through Inhale Peace. 31 day journey to realign with God's peace. We're going on day one. I'm not going to hold you long. It might be about 10 minutes, you know, just like with the podcast. Uh, but this time I'm connecting with you face to face. We're going to walk through this together. Um, but before we get there, we're going to do our peace break. You know, um, all of my peace collective following me, you know what a peace break is. But if you don't, a peace break is a moment when you pause your day. To realign and reconnect with God um, and you can do this anywhere and it doesn't matter um, how long you decide to take your peace break just that you take it it can be two minutes it could be 20 minutes it could be whatever you need um, to help you to reconnect and realign with God it's that moment when you pause your day you stop what you're doing at work you move away from the computer the desktop the ringing phone whatever and you go outside and you breathe to reconnect with God. So we're going to do our uh, peace break to start us off this morning so we can all be connected and in tune. Ready? You're going to close your eyes first. You're going to inhale peace and exhale fear. Inhale peace and exhale your stress. Inhale peace and exhale frustration. God, we welcome your presence in this place. Bring the Holy Spirit here, Lord, so that those who are watching feel your presence. God, let thy will be done through this session and let people feel you and want to commune with you even deeper and more. Jesus name do we pray amen okay so today day one inhale peace if you have the book we're flipping to page 12 if you don't please please go to um, the link in my bio or if you're watching this on Facebook click on the link below um, and you can order a copy if you're living in Baltimore you can order a copy I can deliver it to you um, if not simply order and I will put that in the mail um, as soon as possible so you can join us and get get caught up get get uh, get yourself acclimated to the devotional so day one we're talking about release mm, I know right release as women we tend to take on so much we tend to take on not only what everyone else um, gives us um, but we tend to harbor things I think that's what um, this whole lesson is about for day one how we as women harbor things that we need to let go of those things we're holding on to from 1970 from 1982 from 1998 from 2005 conversations we've had with people um, interactions we've had with people that may not have been the most positive thing and we're still holding on to those things we're still um, hoarding those things it's like Erica Badu's song bag lady um, we become bag women that take on okay I got this that happened and I got that that happened and I got this that happened and I got that and I, I'm, I'm holding on to so much stuff I, I can't 
embrace what God has for me because my hands are full with stuff from the past that I need to let go of. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to let go, release, relieve ourselves of those things that are burdening us so that we can live and operate in his peace. It says here, God wants you to release those things so you can spend your time and your life in the freedom, in the freedom, mm, freedom that is his peace. But doing so will require work on your part. You will have to forgive people for what they've done to you. You will have to remove negative people from your life. You will have to stop self-sabotaging yourself and your dreams. You will have to learn how to treat yourself with care. You will have to embrace new things, to choose to live with joy and not pain. That's, that's important, to choose to live with joy and not pain. See, when I do these things with the podcast, my blogging, I am talking about myself. So if you can relate, please comment below to say, you know what, I've done that. Because this takes a lot of self-reflection to say I've done that. But I have. I have chosen to live with pain. That's crazy, right? Chosen to live with pain rather than live with joy. Because pain is what I knew. Pain is what I understood. Pain is what I knew how to operate within. But that's not of God at all. It is not. Living with pain and I'm not talking about physical pain. I'm talking about emotional baggage and unforgiveness and bitterness. It made me bitter. It made me cantankerous. It made me a mean woman. And when God really revealed, the Holy Spirit said to me, you know what? You're making a choice right now. And you're making a choice to be mad. You're making a choice to be um you're making a choice not to live with the joy and peace that God wants to give you. So until you're ready for that, it's going to be like this. Whew. Can I tell you, that was a hard lesson to learn. But once I made the decision to let it go, the peace that God gave me was so much more worth it was worth it. It was worth it to let it go. It was worth it to release. It was worth it. Releasing. Then it says here, you will have to be willing to spread God's love. That means loving your sister who may be just as cantankerous and letting God use you as an example of what release looks like. Everybody knows what it looks like because of how you operate in your life. And then they see you and say, you know what, I want some of that peace too. Well, the same peace I have is the same peace that you have within you. All you have to do is release and let go. Let go of it. The conversation you had with such and such back in 2002 is over. That person may not even be thinking about you. Okay? The thing that happened to you when when you were a child next week we're going to talk about forgiveness and I have some things to share with you about that it, it's not easy to forgive and to release and to let go but God is here to make us whole and healed and it can't happen until we're ready to release so I have three questions for you as we're wrapping up for the self-reflection in the book we have the text a biblical uh, first we have scripture and the scripture is Colossians 315 but the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace we've been called to peace okay then there's the text and a section for self-reflection and then a nugget of peace you're gonna take with you okay that you can keep reading throughout your throughout your day so I have something for your self-reflection page that you can use, start writing here in this space, get your journal, which I have, I love this journal. First question, what are you holding on to that you need to release? Pray about that. There may be stuff you've forgotten about that you're still holding on to. God will reveal it, the Holy Spirit will reveal what those things are. What purpose is that thing serving in your life? It's serving a purpose not not letting go of it it's serving a purpose and it's not a purpose that is of God it is a purpose that is holding you back from the peace of God 
Are you willing to let it go? That's question number three. Are you willing to let it go? Because the moment you make up your mind and say yes to God is the moment his peace comes over you. Mm. And it will change your life. And I'm emotional right now because I know it has changed my eyes. I used to be such an angry woman until God convinced me to let those things go. That's where the peace comes from. So thank you for joining me this morning at Lake Montebello. Thank you if you purchased the book. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for doing so. Follow me. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Cherished Flight. Today, if this is resonating with you, please hashtag for today is Inhale Peace Day One. It's in the uh, comments below. Inhale Peace Day One. Put that up there. Use the hashtag. Let me know that you're following. Let me know that you're really thinking about releasing whatever it is that is keeping you from the peace of God. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching this video, for sharing this video, um, for allowing it to resonate within you, and for the peace of God that I know will settle over you. I hope you have an amazing day, and may the peace of God settle into your spirit.